Hi everyone. How's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. As usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Free election of masters does not abolish the masters or the slaves. Herbert Marcuse I am back from my trip to South Florida, but so far, in body only. I am facing at least a week of an extreme Arctic front, with snow and temperatures approaching 40 below zero here in Montana. This is brutal, and apparently, global warming has taken a holiday as well. I have been researching since my return, but have not written anything to publish these past three days, but alas, the world is in even more chaotic shape than it was before I left. Imagine that. So, there are no worries, as finding something to write about is an easy task in such ridiculous and maddening times. Secret Jewish tunnels exposed in New York, building explosion in Fort Worth, Texas, shipping backed up worldwide due to Red Sea crisis, doors blowing off commercial airlines in flight, large alien creatures in Miami, car crashes into White House gates, <laughs> continuation of genocide against Palestinians, threat of more wars, and on and on it goes. Are all these events meant to distract us from something even more sinister, or is the world simply going mad? It is, after all, an election year, and the Trump trial circus is still in town, as the election, or selection insanity, continues unabated. The rhetoric is astounding, as all sides of <laughs> right, left, and center, expose idiocy, egotism, corruption, and open stupidity, at levels beyond the imagination of the sane. This year, in my humble opinion, will bring about catastrophic changes, riots, weather anomalies, financial upheaval, economic destruction, monstrous control mechanisms, massive volatile inflation, possible civil war, and certainly civil unrest. Depending on the <coughs> nonsense, if in fact an election actually happens, hatred of each other could reach heights never before seen or experienced. I would find this comical if so much were not at stake, but then, does it really matter? It is my assumption that every election is not only ir <coughs> but meant only to temporarily corral the herd into one side or the other, so that all can be exploited equally. Voting is not only this, <coughs> it is psych- <coughs> With all this and much much more, NASA scraps another <coughs> moon landing effort, likely due to the fact that it probably could not even get a rocket to fly a short distance and land safely on this so-called planet, much less anything in space. I find this amusing, as the supposed moon landing claimed as real, as to be sure, happened 55 years ago, when rockets were powered by rabbits running on a wheel. The files are said to have been released, 4,553 pages of very heavily redacted documents, but nothing new has come to light. The names mentioned are already known, but no real truth has surfaced, and of course this is by design. If that was not the case, hundreds or thousands of names would not only be exposed, but subject to intense prosecution. Nothing of importance or with guts is being released, as this is little more than a stage show. Yet another distraction. So, very high-level politicians, corporate heads, bankers, royalty, celebrities, billionaires, presidents, prime ministers, and many others, were blackmailed, but with nearly 5,000 pages of released documents, still nothing is really known. How can this be? It can be because it is only a cover-up, not any legitimate exposure. While all this is going on, and the news continues to release more and more stories every day, what is happening concerning the big picture, which is the over of Earth by the ruling class, bankers, and technocrats, plotting their new You likely do not know, because, that is the plan you see, because, the underlying plot of world domination continues in earnest, while all the distraction keeps the blank and simple minds of the masses empty and entertained. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. 
Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end, to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. I would highly suggest that all of you get ready for the ride of your life, as this year, and every year after, should bring about astounding revelations not expected by the lowly herd. This will not likely be the year the worm turns, for the people have not yet accepted the fact that they are mere slaves in a world run by s and have positioned themselves as weak obedient followers awaiting slaughter. This attitude by the crowd does not bode well for any future of freedom to exist, but does set up the great possibility of an epic takeover of humanity and the annihilation of morality, tradition, economies, and the elimination of the individual and society. With the loss of the individual will come the loss of all liberty. You have been told over and over again by the powers that be that there will be a grid shutdown. You have been told that cyber attacks by so-called outsiders, those like Russia or China for example, will take place. If there is any broad-based shutdown of the grid, shutdown of the internet, or elimination of services due to utility companies going offline, whether due to a natural event, war, or plotted false flag attack, more likely in my opinion, what will be the resulting response by people without power, water, heat, food, or communication? When panic sets in, common sense and logic disappear, and bad things happen. By allowing your lives to be run by them, you have put yourselves at the mercy of criminal mobs with guns, whose objectives are sinister. This is not, and never has been, the way to achieve freedom, but instead, is the way to totalitarian hell. I firmly believe we have much harder times coming, so, will the people of <laughs> rule, or will they cry out to their masters to save them from harm? What will you do when the world comes undone? There will be, in the next generation or so, a f logical method of making people love their servitude, and producing dictatorship without tears, so to speak, producing a kind of painless concentration camp for entire societies, so that people will in fact have their liberties taken away from them, but will rather enjoy it, because they will be distracted from any desire to rebel, by propaganda or brainwashing, or brainwashing enhanced by f methods. And this seems to be the final revolution. Aldous Huxley. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable, and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.